boarding school um, has this reputation of being the place where you get sent because your parents don't like you and it's like purgatory. Yes. No, it's like summer camp all year long. Was there boys and girls there? No, there was just girls, but there was a lot of lesbian sexual tension. Wow. Yeah, cause that, because it's what you're surrounded by. It's like men in prison turn <laughs> whatever's do. there, there's a hole that'll do. <laughs> But my sister went on a camp with all women in America and she's like, it would be um, ga uh, GAX or something, gay at camp, GAC or whatever it is. Oh. And they were only gay at camp. Right. Yeah, like so they're getting... Like graduation, GAX. Yes. Yeah. And so they're like these perfectly straight girls, but because there's no guys <laughs> around, you just, okay, this will do. Let's pass. Is that what it was a bit like? <laughs> no, it wasn't at all. I got expelled after a year, so I didn't really get to have a lesbian encounter. But it was, um, it was incredibly fun because um, you're there every day with your friends. You're right at that age, 14, 15, when you really don't want to engage with your parents. Yeah. So you're not quite happy to be away from them. Totally. And you get, you get home for Easter holidays or Christmas and you're like a rock star. They're so happy to see you. Yeah. And you get pocket money and you're in the big city as opposed to the stinky old country. Yeah, right. Um, and there's all these new experiences. It was, I actually loved boarding school. Why did you get expelled? Well, it was a combination of things, but um, I was just pretty obnoxious and naughty. Really? Yeah, and I think that they took, they let, they turned a blind eye to the obnoxious naughtiness um, to a certain extent, and then I kind of went too far. Right. Being fifteen or something, so I got expelled officially for drinking in the boarding house and smoking. Oh, did you? Yeah. How you at 15? I remember the first time I got drunk too, which was 15. Mm. But your girls are not that far off that. Do you, are you like, you better not drink at 15? Or are you like, you can have a bit of a drink? Oh, uh, I wouldn't encourage it. I'd rather they smoked pot than drank. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just, I don't know. I just, I know that that, you know, when you're floppy from being so drunk. Yeah. And you can't get in and out of a taxi or, you know, yeah, that sort of yeah, yeah. incredible physical vulnerability that you get you don't get from getting stoned on right. a bit of weed. You just want them completely paranoid eating everything out of your cupboard. <laughs> Gay times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want them doing either, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to say I never smoked weed. I never got drunk. Yeah. And you shouldn't either. I just want to be, to try and say, look, there, there's, there are ways to do this in, 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 in safety. Yeah. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. The I big know. one's only 12. And she's a young 12, so hopefully... Yeah, thank God. But still, because it seems like everything happens younger mm. for everyone. Cause mm. I, but then I was 15, and I guess they're not doing it, hopefully, much younger than 15. Mm. But who knows? who knows? Scary, though. It is scary.